Isang magandang umaga muli mga kapatid ko sa Panginoon. Papuri at pasasalamat ang ating ibigay sa ating Diyos dahil pagkakataon na naman tayo na mag-aral ng kanyang salita. Kaya mga kapatid, kailan po tayo huling nagpatawad sa taong nagkasala sa atin? Dahil ngayon, ang ating devotion ay ang pang-apat na assurance na pwede nating i-claim sa ating Panginoon at ito ay ang assurance of forgiveness. Ang ating passage ay makikita sa 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. It says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Tayo po saglit na manalangin. Aming dakilang Diyos, maraming salamat muli sa iyong biyaya sa pagkataon na kami makapag-aral ng iyong salita. Gawain niya pong muli kami at turuan na nagkaroon ng pusong mapagpatawad katulad po ng ginawa ng Diyos sa amin. Maraming salamat pong muli itong aming samod langin sa pangalan Yesus. Amen. Sa isang manalampalataya, na tumagap na kay Sokristo bilang kanyang Diyos at tagapagligtas, God has and will forgive our sins. This is the truth of the Bible that He has forgiven our past, present, and future sins. This promise rests only on one condition, that we confess our sin. Sa batas, a confession is an admission of guilt. Tama po yun. Diba? Katulad lang din po yan ng pag-admit natin ng admission o pag-admit natin o confess natin before God. It is the recognition and acknowledgement of our wrongdoing. At ang pag-amin na tayo ay isang makasalanan na kailangan humingi ng kapatawaran sa ating Diyos. Isang magandang halimbawa ay si King David in his confession sa Psalms chapter 51 verse 1 to 3. At ito pong sinasabi niya, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is always before me. This confession provides us a good model for us to start with. Tayo po bilang tao na minana ang pagkakaroon ng sinful nature sa ating pong mga ninuno. Sin separates us from God and sin destroys us. Sabi po ng Isaiah 59 verse 2, But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden His face from you, so that He will not hear. The consequences cause a ripple effect of destruction in our personal lives, with our relationships, and in the world around us. But forgiveness breaks the cycle. And when we are re restored from sin to a right relationship with God, God enables us to restore our relationships with others and make things right. No accusation holds any ground against those whom God has forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. In Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 2, ito pong sabi, There is therefore no condemnation to those who are now in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit for the law of the spirit of life is Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death knowing God's forgiveness was what saved us from the penalty of our sins forgiveness is at the cross Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of sins. In turn, God commands each and every one of us that we forgive those who sin against us. As the Lord has forgiven you, 
so you also must forgive, sabi po sa Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. And when his disciples or disciple Peter asked him how many times he should forgive, the Lord Jesus Christ answered, forgive and keep on forgiving. Ang sabi po kasi doon, 70 times 7. It is a figurative number suggesting continual renewal. In the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus turns up the heat of forgiveness with these red letter words in Matthew chapter 6, verse 15. Ang sabi po doon, But if you do not forgive others their sin, your Father will not forgive your sin. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. If I'm forgiven by God, sabihin po natin sa salili natin, then who am I to refuse to forgive someone else? We need to be forgiven by God in order to be saved. Jesus' blood is the only way for this to happen. We must humble ourselves and forgive others in order to receive forgiveness. Let us pray. Our dear God and Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word. Bless this Lord in our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning and may God bless you all.